I am an emeritus professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering and Material Science. I was a chemist by training, came to Minnesota in chemical engineering in 1965, and I taught for 49 years. I was finishing my degree, and I got a call from Ted Davis. He was a colleague of mine at Chicago. He was a year or two ahead of me, and he asked me if I'd be interested in coming up to Minnesota to interview. So Ted picked me up from the airport in his Volkswagen Beetle. It, this was in January, and it was extremely cold, like minus 20. Uh, and Ted had a Beetle that didn't have he a, a heater in it, and it was, it was yeah, that was miserable. But I interviewed, and to my surprise, before I left the department, Amundsen made me an offer. The department was a, just a teaching department over in the basement of chemistry, way bef before my time. And Amundsen was made department head. He hired Scriven and Eris, those were his two big hires. And, but then the department decided they wanted to put chemistry in chemical engineering. They hired John Dollar, Ted Davis, uh, Bob Carr, and me. We were all f four physical chemists. Amundsen was a mathematician, and so what they were trying to do was put, put mathematics and uh, chemistry into the chemical engineering curriculum. The dean uh, of Institute of Technology called the whole department over to his office, I remember that one morning, and he said, I'm thinking about merging chemical engineering with, with material science. All my, or my colleagues went, went around saying they thought that would be a terrible idea. And then uh, Dick Swalleen, who was the dean, said, okay, but we're gonna do it anyhow. Material science is built up and in fact, we look like geniuses now because material science is a strong part of chemical engineering around the nation, and we had it very early. I, I did a paper with Dan Hickman, which got published in Science. That was my most, by far my most read paper, and it changed my whole career. Then, just to jump way ahead, in, at the end of my career, I got back to practical stuff. I talked to farmers and uh, worried about corn ethanol, and biomass to, to uh, ethanol conversion and all of those topics. The future is not just carrying on the past and doing it better. The future is making wild changes, doing stuff radically different. We've got to make sure that chemical engineering is a strong place, that st students get a good education, they can go into academia or industry and be world leaders, and I think we've got all the, all the pieces to make that happen.